Hello, this is Teacher Christopher here talking about the 69th Hong Kong Speech Festival 2017 and in particular how you can perform a Shakespearean piece. As you can see from the text here, I am a native English speaker, a lawyer, a former school governor in the UK and a former university lecturer. I have been in Hong Kong for nine years. I have many years experience teaching public speaking and presentation skills and I will teach you any verse or reading for the Hong Kong Speech Festival. I will record myself saying the piece in perfect English and send the recording to you. My pronunciation is BBC English and I will show you perfect pronunciation, excellent enunciation and interesting intonation so that you can listen time and time again and learn how to give your very best performance whether it is a simple poem a shakespearean monologue or sonnet a reading from jane austen or any other piece i can help just send a copy of what you will perform and i will quote a price write to me at hong kong speech festival at gmail.com and have a look at my website okay so now now let's talk about um, Shakespeare. Many people are scared of performing a piece from Shakespeare because the language is really old fashioned, but they need not be scared. There is so much information on the Internet in which Shakespeare's words are translated into modern English. And from that, you can really learn, first of all, what the words mean and secondly what the piece is about and that is really really important you must understand all the words and you must know what the piece is about now i am going to um, recite one of the most famous speeches and this is from king richard the second it's act three scene two it's called the hollow crown monologue now, if you ask me to, I will record two versions of this. The first version will be simply to say the words very slowly and clearly. So that will be excellent pronunciation and excellent enunciation. There will be no intonation in that first version. So I will do the whole piece in very clear, plain English. Let me give you an example. Let's have a look at the first four lines of this monologue. Let's talk of graves, of worms and epitaphs. Make dust our paper and with rainy eyes write sorrow on the bosom of the earth. Let's choose executors and talk of wills. So there you have no intonation whatever. And you can listen to the way I pronounce these words time and time again and work on your English accent. Some people say that having a good English accent doesn't matter. Well, I completely disagree. And I think that most people would understand that if you can deliver your piece in a good English accent, it will automatically sound better. So the next um, recording I will do for you is one where I use intonation. And good intonation is how you make the piece really interesting. So I'm now going to read the whole of this piece with my intonation it doesn't mean that this is the best it doesn't mean to say that you should copy this but this is my interpretation let's talk of graves of worms and epitaphs make dust our paper and with rainy eyes write sorrow on the bosom of the earth let's choose executors and talk of wills and yet not so 
for what can we bequeath save our deposed bodies to the grands, our lands, our lives, and all our Bolingbrooks? And nothing can we call our own but death. And that small model of the barren earth, which serves as paste and cover to our bones. For God's sake, let us sit upon the ground and tell sad stories of the death of kings. How some have been deposed, some slain in war, some haunted by the ghosts they have deposed, some poisoned by their wives, some sleeping killed. All murdered, for within the hollow crown that rounds the mortal temples of a king keeps death his court, and there the antique sits, scoffing his state and grinning at his pomp, allowing him a breath, a little scene to monarchize, be feared and kill with looks infusing him with self and vain conceit, as if this flesh which walls about our life were brass impregnable. And humoured thus comes at the last, and with a little pin bores through his castle wall, and farewell, king. Cover your heads, and mock not flesh and blood with solemn reverence, Throw away respect, tradition, form, and ceremonious duty. For you have but mistook me all this while. I live with bread like you. Feel want. Taste grief. Need friends. Subjected thus, how can you say to me, I am a king? Now, you can go onto the internet and find many, many performances of this piece, some by the most famous British actors, and I would urge you to listen to them, but I would advise you not to try and copy anybody but to make this piece your own you have to be Richard the second talking to his friends you have to be the person delivering this monologue not just somebody reciting somebody else's words make the piece your own if you do that then you will give yourself the very best chance of success in the speech festival. So if I can help you with this, do please write to me at hongkongspeechfestival at gmail.com and have a look at my website. And I wish you the very best of luck in your performance.